So here we are in front of our amazing ginkgo biloba tree on the cloister's lawn. The tree has to be at least 85 years old. It could be one of the trees that was saved from the Billings Estate and put here. A reason it's so huge is because it has had room to spread out. But in terms of the lifespan of a ginkgo, this is an infant. They can live thousands of years. Darwin called them the living fossil. They lived during the time of the dinosaurs. They thought they had been wiped out during the ages of glaciation. But then they were discovered growing in the Buddhist temples, tended by monks in China, Japan, and Korea. The Japanese revere this tree, and in every Buddhist temple, there is a ginkgo growing. These trees have been planted as street trees because they're so tough. They can withstand drought, flood, pollution. They are also used medicinally to enhance your memory. So if you look at the leaf, this one's still green, still has lots of chlorophyll. But what I want you to focus on are the veins. And scientists believe that those veins were at one point the veins inside of needle leaves and that those needle leaves fused to form the first broad leaf. It is a gymnosperm and it does produce cones but not the woody kind of cones we're used to in conifers. The leaves that are in the sun have turned golden and that is because the tree is getting ready to shed its leaves. One night soon all the leaves will fall down at the same time. It's an amazing phenomenon.